Today, I'm sharing with you 10 kitchen hacks you will actually use. So I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I came across some kitchen hacks. Now, I love a good kitchen hack. So I clicked, I watched, and I realized these are not realistic. I would never use any of these. So I decided it would be fun to make a video of real food kitchen hacks that you will actually use. If you guys are ready, let's just jump right in. Now when cutting an onion, it goes to the first water source. And so usually it will go to your eyes. And so my trick is to grab a paper towel, get it wet and put it in between you and the onion. Then when you chop your onion, all the strong scent will go into the paper towel instead of into your eyes. I just wanna show you real quick how wet my paper towel is. It literally is soaking. So make sure it's a really wet paper towel. Now sometimes if you have a really strong onion, it will still get into your eyes. So my other trick is goggles. They work perfect every time. Hack number two is how to soften your butter quickly. You're first going to fill up a glass cup or jar with water. Then you're gonna put it in your microwave and heat it up until the water is boiling. So about two, two and a half minutes. All right, while that water is heating up, we're going to open our butter and stand it upright on a plate. All right, when it's done, you're gonna dump out the water and place it right over on top of your butter. You let it sit in there a few minutes, pull it out, and you have very soft butter. Hack number three is how to soften your brown sugar. All right, if you have brown sugar that is hard and gross, all you have to do is stick a piece of bread in your container, go ahead and put your lid on, and let it sit there overnight. And then in the morning, you'll have nice and soft brown sugar. Tip number four is how to make powdered sugar if you don't have any. All you need is one cup of sugar and you're gonna put it into a blender. Now you can do multiple cups if you need to, but I'm just gonna do a small blender just to show you. So we have one cup of sugar and then one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now this is a little blender, so I actually have to put on the lid, or you can just you can do a big blender too. It will work with either item you have. Now all you're going to do is blend it until it turns into powdered sugar. All right, look, you can see the powdered sugar on the blender. That is awesome. Hack number five is how to cook corn quickly. So first you're gonna place the uncooked corn in the microwave and cook it for five minutes. Once it's done, go ahead and pull out the hot corn. You're going to chop off one end of the corn and then just slide the corn out and it's ready to eat. Hack number six is how to actually use a peeler. Did you know that all peelers are made with sharp edges on both sides? So then when it comes time to peel, instead of doing your regular peel, you can actually go up and down and peel a lot faster. Number seven is how to stop your pot from boiling over. Now when you're cooking food and it's starting to boil over, all you have to do is get a wooden spoon and put it on your pot. It keeps the water and your food from going over the edges. Hack number eight is how to get the most juice out of your lemon or limes. So what you're gonna do is put your lemon or lime in the microwave for about 20 seconds. When it's done, go ahead and roll it out with your hand and then from there, squeeze it out and you will get a ton more juice just making it a little bit more warm. Hack number nine is a product, but it's one of my favorites. This is a pineapple peeler. Now I love this because the usual way of a pineapple is you just cut off the ends and it takes forever to chop up your whole pineapple. With this one, you cut off the ends, you stick in the peeler and you twist. You twist and twist and twist until you can twist no longer. Then you pull it out very gently and from there you can cut up your pineapple. Super simple, super easy. It literally takes two minutes. And hack number 10 is the best way to clean the bottom of your pan. So if you ever get food, especially eggs, and it takes forever to get off the bottom of your pan, this is the trick for you. So the first thing you're gonna do is add water to your pan. Then you're gonna put it on your stove for medium high heat for about two minutes. You can literally watch the egg come right off of your pan and rinse it and clean your pan just as usual. Now, along with these hacks, I have some very simple, easy recipes right up there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do it right there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.